yeah um, yeah so to talk about funding yeah actually once i got the letter that okay you've been selected to participate in this yes it also came with the funding wow so insurance everything that you need to do accommodation wow. everything was taken care of so okay hello you're yeah, very much welcome back friends to my channel i'm glad to have you here today today we have a very wonderful friend of mine who is here to share with you the experiences he has had here and then the opportunities he got and then give you insight into what he came to do here he has been in germany and then in dresden for the past six months and then he is here to talk to us and then share his experiences with us so without wasting much time pick your pens your notepads and then let's dive straight into today's video i'm very glad about this video because it's going to be very helpful and then impactful for you so let's get into it All right, you are welcome back. You are welcome back. So, Joe, tell us about yourself and then your background. Okay, um, my name is Joseph. I work with a conservation NGO in Ghana. For the past three years, I was working in Ghana, and I got an opportunity to come and continue my education. Um, this education was a postgraduate diploma in environmental management, and it's being hosted by the Center for um, International Postgraduate Studies in Environmental Management at uh, TU Dresden. Okay. So I have been here for the past six months, um, I'm listening to lectures and discussions and going to different places, visiting industries, learning about how to manage our environment. Okay. Okay. So this is not the normal or the regular master's or PhD that we usually know. Wow. So did you have to meet any requirements, any specific requirements? What were the requirements for this program? Yes, um, so this program, it's, it's targeted at people who are already working. Mm. You can be working at the policy interface, you can be working at the science policy interface, okay. or you can be working at the science interface. So I see. It's, if you are a practitioner already working, then this program is for you. Wow. But the, the minimum requirement for this program is a BSc. Um, during my time here, um, some of our colleagues have BSc, others have MSc, mm. and others even have PhD. Okay. So, irrespective of your uh, your qualification, mm. the minimum requirement is a uh, uh, BSc degree. And the application process is such that you you have to be nominated by your institution. So, okay. one, you should be working. Mm. And as you're working, the, when the application is open, normally in, in somewhere in March. Yes. Okay. So the application process starts in March. Right. So the first thing is you have to be nominated by your institution. So yeah. you download a form, the application form, you fill your part, then you give it to your institution. Then your institution endorses it that, okay, we agree that we want this person to go to Dresden mm. and then learn and come and help us after okay. um, he's done learning. So that is the first thing. Yeah. And then you also have to write um, a motivation letter mm attached to it telling the, um, the selection committee why you want to pursue this program yes and then after that you submit it in march I think the deadline is mostly around march. march and then you wait in august you get a feedback and if you are selected you go through the immigration process or the visa application process yes. and then you're through. oh nice nice all right so joe has already given us the application process yeah so joe it means that this program is targeted to people in the science or the environmental Field is that so? Or people with uh, economics, IT, like, can anyone apply? Or this is targeted to specific people? Yeah, um, the target group is mostly um, people who are working in science, okay, working in policy, yeah, or working in the science policy interface, okay. And you can also be working in the, um, anything related to the SDG. So okay. you can be working in the transport industry, yeah, trying to um, do something related to energy conservation. Hmm. You're trying to work something on uh, or probably you're working on something related yeah. to wind power energy okay anything related to the environment or the sdgs okay. so if you're doing anything related to the sdgs or the um, environmental sector then this program is what is for, for you oh okay okay so so far as you are doing something related to environmental sustainability yes, it is and then we have a very good motivation letter because you spoke of yes. motivation letter yes. yeah so yeah if you are working in the sector relating or dealing with the environment and then how sustainable the environment can be it means that this video is for you oh good that's very good so that's six months can you describe a typical day in this course 
like when you wake up or like your yeah, typical day okay so on a typical day mm. okay first let me give an overview of the whole um six months yeah yes, so yes. in this whole six months you yes. take courses in the class in the lecture theater so mm. you go to class from um, 8 30 um, a.m and then you end at um, 4 30 p.m okay there are certain instances you go on excursions you visit industries learn from what is being done um, because this is this program is mostly targeted at um developing countries and okay. Germany is very developed so you visit um, industries who are doing something related to the environment for instance waste management sites you go there mm -hmm. you go to conservation agencies you go to the transport industries sure. to you learn practically what is being done okay now that is just the overview but in the day you wake up you go to the classroom you sit down you meet professors mm. and these are like professors who are on top of their field yes and they understand that you're already um, working you are not really into academia so yes the content of the course is not such that it's so part technical that okay. you cannot absorb it's very easy okay anybody can absorb and then at the end um you go back to your room and then you take your sleep <laughs> good That's good 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 okay yeah, so the, the teachings are very practical. Very what practical. you are, what you already know, they, they are just polishing and they're making it more practical for you. That's good. That's very very good. So I, I believe that you've added more to your knowledge if, as you are going back to Ghana. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's good. Well. You mentioned developing country. That means this program is targeted to people coming from developing countries. Yes, global okay. South, people from the global south, so okay. Africa, um, Asia, and um, um, I think, I think American, of, American is, uh, yes. South America. South America, yes. Yeah. When you graduated, I saw one Brazilian. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, so okay. South America, and then a little bit part of Europe. Um, okay. Those that are considered not um, part of Europe, uh, European Union. Uh, okay. Well. I see. I see. I see. That's good. That's good. Let's talk of the funding. How did you did you pay anything? Did you need block the accounts when you were coming? Like, what was the funding? The proof of funds for this? program okay. because that's very much interested <laughs> like in, yeah it's people are really interested in this part so yeah um, yeah so to talk about funding yeah actually once i got the letter that okay you've been selected to participate in this yes it also came with the funding wow so insurance everything that you need to do accommodation wow. everything was taken care of so okay the only thing i was supposed to pay yeah. was my visa application fee oh but then when i got to the uh, um the uh, embassy the embassy okay i was told that okay you don't even have to pay because this is a government sponsored program wow so you don't even have to pay for the visa application good so i paid nothing nothing and then i got here and when I got here, accommodation was waiting for yeah. me. Every month you receive a stipend. I don't want to mention the exact stipend, but okay. I think if you go online and check the website, you will see. Yeah. 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 And then um, you get a transport ticket. So okay. you have um, a ticket that you can move around everywhere. Yeah. There are bicycles around that wow. if you want to borrow and move around, maybe you are there's somebody who wants to conserve um, um, energy. Yeah. You want to protect the environment. Yeah. You, know, you want to reduce your carbon footprint. Yeah. So you like to cycle, you like me. Cycle, yeah. So you can go out with a cycle as possible. Good. All these are available for you. And then when you get here, there is a library. Yeah. There is a pool, a table. Yeah. There are a lot of games in the building where you live. Mm. So you can also have fun whilst um, studying and then improving yourself as well. Wow, wow, wow. This is, this is very, very great. This is very great. So, it means that you paid nothing. You paid nothing from your country to to Germany. You paid nothing. nothing. Even the application, the visa application fee of uh, seventy five euros, you didn't pay. No, didn't. Wow, this is this is a very good opportunity for you. And then myself, I'm new to this opportunity, so I said, "Wow, it means such opportunities are there for people to come." Then yeah. it is a very good opportunity. Very very good. But are you allowed to work whilst you are here? Um, no, okay. It, it is not allowed because Good. Um, I think the type of visa that mm. is normally given to you will mm. not allow you to. Yeah. But then when you come, you are, you you registered with the city council. Yeah. So if you want to do it, I think maybe, but I don't think yeah, the it's true. Really allow you. Yes, yes, and then it it, 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 it even makes sense because you are receive, you are being paid your 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 rent, yeah, like Everything. your accommodation, your Utility transportation, bills. and then. 
your your monthly stipend. So you don't you don't really need to wear, yeah, you need to concentrate. All right, so tell us your overall experience in Dresden. Overall experience. Ah, Dresden is a historical city. Yeah. Very yeah. nice yeah. architectural structures. Yeah. I like the transport system. Okay. Um, the buildings, old buildings, the women church. Yes. I've been there. I've been to the Hyders, the Gosa Garden. Oh. A lot of places. You've visited a lot of, of tourist attractions. Yeah. Good. Cessna, Switzerland. I've been there. Oh. Yeah. The place is really lively. I, yeah. I like the, everything about yeah. the city. That uh, maybe in my next life, I would like to. I would like to. Good, 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 good. <laughs> now, Missy, I've really enjoyed Dresden. Yeah, and then six months, six months is very enough. You've you've really traveled, like you've you've really enjoyed the city, like felt it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's true. not just the city because I, I mean, some of my colleagues were traveling all over Europe. Wow. I did not. Okay, with your visa, you can travel to yes. Europe as well. Yes. Wow. For your visa, you can go to any other country. Good. So good. A lot good. of them went to France. Yeah. To, um, um, Belgium, yes. other countries as well. But I, I was more stuck in Germany and I moved around a lot. Okay. So I just different places. That's very good. That's very good. Okay, so we are bringing this video to an end. I have my final question before I ask him to give his final advice for uh, people who are trying, who would be wanting to take the same path as my friend Joe is here. So, Joe, is it, uh, let's talk about going home, going back home. Is this compulsory to? go back home after your six months or it is legal, it is uh, accepted or it is done that, okay, I've come to do this six months, but I feel that, oh, Dresden is very good, Germany is good, I found another program, I want to stay, can you do that? Or it is compulsion that, this is six months, we have funded you, go back home. How is it? Um, I wouldn't say it's compulsory for you to go back because mm -hmm. some of my colleagues mm -hmm. um, throughout this program have been able to secure PhD opportunities wow. and they are staying to do it. Good. Others have secured master's programs mm -hmm. and they are staying to do it. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's compulsory for you to go back. But then if you are unable to secure any other opportunity yes. that will let you stay here legally, mm -hmm. then I think it's best you go back to your country and then um, implement what you've learned what from you've here. Learned. Okay, 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 okay. So the main purpose of this uh, program is to train you and then you go back home. But it is also open that, okay, if you've come and then you've seen any opportunity, like you are saying, PhD and then master's programs, that's very, very good. You can, you are allowed to stay. And oh, even as, okay. as part of the program, yes. you are being introduced to some opportunities. So wow. there is a Humboldt Foundation that also sponsors fellowships. Cool. Another opportunity that ABC Center, they yeah. also actually come here to lecture and present these opportunities cool. to you that cool. you can apply in future. So they are also not just training you for this, but they want to build your capacity going forward as well. So wow. if you're interested in further studies, you can apply and then live here and then continue studying. Okay, that means the, there are more opportunities to this program that time wouldn't allow you to mention yeah. everything. Okay. I okay. think somebody will be asking, so if you have all these opportunities, why are you going back? Back to Ghana. I love my country. Yeah, yeah, you love your country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then that is you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And then that's why it is uh, geared towards those who are already working. Yeah. So someone is, is very comfortable in Ghana because, yeah, yeah and then others... If someone is also comfortable, not as in like those who stay here are not comfortable in their yeah, country. Yeah. They are also comfortable, but maybe they found another opportunity that they want to try yeah. out. Yeah. So, yes. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much for this insight. So now your final words to anyone who wants to take the same path as you. Yeah. Um, so I think you will share the link to the Sipsim website. Yes, yes, yes. I'll then, put the link to this program yeah. in the description yeah. box. So yeah. they are... Um, there are other programs that is being offered here at the center, not okay. just the six months course. There is also a, a one month short course, oh. and then that also brings people from different countries. I here. see, and that normally starts in September. September. Yes. Yeah, so okay, uh, so the one month is ahead of us. It's ahead of us. Okay, so people can actually apply or apply. Oh, okay. Yes, you can apply, and Good. then if you get it, then you can for one month, yeah. and then you go back. And then yeah. there are also short courses. Okay. So short courses that are offered online, um, that you 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 can also apply yeah. and learn from from all these sessions. Okay. Okay. So it, that's why it's good that sometimes uh, you bring people. If I'm talking, if I know that okay, this topic I'm not 
much into it. I don't know much. I just bring the person to yeah. come and speak yeah. because right now you've made me learn another thing that there are even one month courses yes. and then six months course. So you chose the six months. Six months. Six very months. good. Very good. So your final words to yeah, you know, um, yeah. My final words is um, there are a lot of opportunities. Mm. You have to look for them, mm. and if you find one that works for you, go for it. And thank you so much for having me here. Yeah. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to um, your viewers. All right, Joe. Thank you. Thank you so much. So if you like this video, I'll just 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 thank Joe for coming in the in the comment section. Just right thank you joe and then pray for him as well as he's going back together the program actually ended on friday yes friday okay and then let's mention that there was a, a graduation ceremony for you yeah there was and then you are giving certificates for this program wow so wow, not wow. just one certificate you have about three certificates because there are different models also organized in this training so wow you we receive um another model on um, energy Okay. So it's, it's also organized separately by a different institutions. Good. So you get a certificate from yeah, there. Yeah. You get a certificate for this program, and then there are other ones you get certificate from. So oh, wow. in all, I have like three certificates. Three programs. certificates as you are going. Yeah. That's why I said he can't mention everything. Yeah. Very, very. It is a packed program yeah, because packed. you are giving certificate funded. Like it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. So yeah, he he finished on Friday, and then yesterday we had games in Dresden. And then today is Sunday. We are shooting the video on Sunday. And then tomorrow, Monday, is leaving back to Ghana. So he has really enjoyed his stay here. And then, Joe, thank you so much once again for coming here and then sharing with us this great opportunity. I hope that most people will also try, try it out and then they will follow your path. And then, yeah, it will go well with them. So just hit on the notification bell so that anytime I post a video, you'll be the first person to be notified. And then, Subscribe as well. Let me hear of you in the comment section. Share the video to anyone who you think this video will be a very helpful tool for the person. And then I'll meet you in my next video where I'll bring you another insightful video. See you in my next video. And until then, may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye-bye.